Hello YouTube. All right, I'm gonna make another unedited raw video of Pattaya just kind of walking around. I'm gonna let the camera roll. I kind of got some topics I want to talk about. So I'll be just walking and talking and if anything cool happens or I see anything interesting, I'll probably stop and talk about that. But yeah, I'm right here at this intersection. Uh, this is Soy 4 in Pradamnak and a uh, nice little 7-Eleven here with a lot of food carts set up and this is my go-to spot for stocking up on food. My condo is actually right behind me down this road about 200 meters maybe, not that far. But uh, yeah, let us uh, let me pan the camera around. I'm gonna take off down to the beach. Like I said, this is Soy 4 in Pradamnak. And this is kind of a busy street like I said, Soy 5, I think, is the main strip of Pradamnak. Soy 4 isn't really a main strip, but if you look back up, there's a lot of shops. Um, there's a lot of, there's a couple bars. There's probably like 10 restaurants on the street. And it's cool because it goes downhill. So um, it goes downhill right to the beach. And I'm going to walk that way. And the closer you get to the beach over here, the it's a little weird down here. Uh, there's this big condo here, the one condo, and it's kind of old and run down. And then you have these little villas here, these Nordic villas. Uh, and of course we got a, a gym over here. But uh, yeah, there's a golf course down here. And then there's a really kind of classy hotel. The hotel's older, but it's fairly popular. Here's the little uh, gym here. Human Strong Gym Pattaya. Uh, but yeah, the Asia Pattaya Hotel. It's an uh, older hotel, but it's right on the water. They have beautiful landscaping. I, it's fairly active hotel, I think, just because the location is so great. Um, but it's kind of hidden down on Soy 4 here, and then right here to our left is the golf course and I'm not sure how many holes it is it's pretty small I think all the I think they all might be par threes I've never walked it or played it um but it looks like it's fairly well maintained like I know there's some world-class golf courses here if you could go to uh, Soy Siam Country Club over there there's tons of uh really world-class golf courses and this is i would consider this like a budget course maybe i don't know how much it is but i can't imagine it's too expensive and it's fairly small like if you look on the map i it's i don't even think it's nine holes um i think it might be five or six holes and they're it looks like they're all par threes there might be a par four in there but it's pretty tight um, but i have a great view of this golf course from my balcony so I like to sit out and just watch people. There's a couple sand traps I have a view of, and I see people dealing with sand traps. I mean, look, there's sand traps everywhere in this course, but uh, it's cool. I should get out here and see how much it is. And uh, I've never, I've never done it, so that's I guess on my list to maybe go play. And then yeah, through here we just got a lot of these are like old Thai style condos. It looks like they're vacant. Yeah, all the doors are open. Looks like they got it aired out. Pretty much abandoned down here. And this one, they're redoing? I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, like I, like the last episode I was talking about, this place is so overbuilt. Like, yeah, that one looks like they are remodeling it. This one needs some work. But it's a great location. It's right on the beach. You're right down here. Uh, but yeah, keep walking and, uh, there's, uh, condoms and cabbages. This world, like, famous restaurant is right up here. And that's also kind of a hidden gem in Pattaya. If you're ever in Pattaya, come to this place. It's kind of expensive, uh, but compared to, like, a nice restaurant in America or Europe, I mean, it's way cheaper and you're right on the beach. And I'm not going to walk through there, but it's like you walk in and there's a jungle trail and there's all these bungalow houses and little shacks you can rent. And it's kind of like a hotel resort. And they have amazing restaurant right on the beach and it kind of tears up. 
uh, different levels uh, on this cliff, and there's different patios and decks built into the cliff, and the landscaping's really awesome. So I'll kind of walk by, and you can see into it, but it's a world-class resort, and definitely worth checking out if you're in Pattaya. Uh, go have a meal there because it is uh, it's really good. Got cars coming. Got a little weed shop over here. Some bars, some restaurants. Yeah, and here's the Asia Pattaya Hotel. Still fairly active. And uh, hopefully, yeah, they've got nice landscaping. This is really nice. Like, it is older, but they have maintained it. Uh, super nice hotel and hopefully what's kind of weird about this beach over here I don't even know the name of this beach I don't think it's Dongtan I don't even know if it I'm sure it has a name but uh, it's kind of hidden and depending on like where the tide is like sometimes the tide comes right up to the stairs that walk down to it so the beach is like actually gone oh wow look at this this is all they tore all this out recent I was down here like a week ago, and this has all been, yeah, they're working on this. And yeah, just a, like old school apartment over there. Look at that. Just abandoned. Right on the beach, you know. It's like, shit, I want to buy that for pennies on the dollar and fix it up. Oh, uh, yeah, look at these uh, buses. And it looks like they got some type of event going on. Let's take a peek over the fence here and see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, this is the Asia Pattaya Hotel. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble here. Let's see if I can. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if you can see in there. What is it? It's just like a school? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. It's, I think they're speaking Chinese. No, that's Thai. That's Thai. But I think this, that Asia Pattaya Hotel, I think, is mainly a Chinese hotel. Not fully sure, though. But yeah, look at this. You know, look at that one. Look at that old condo, like, just run down right on the beach. This is literally the beach. And this is a cool little hotel, and, uh, oh, I walked right past, or wait, is it over here? No, it's not, okay. Yeah, we, I walked right past, uh, condoms and cabbages and didn't even, didn't even show you guys. I got some cool graffiti. And this, um, uh, like I said, we'll see if we can get down to the beach or not. And there's usually people sitting on these steps. There's steps that go down here. And there's, when it's not a lot of water, there's like tents. They have tents set up and they have like a restaurant down here. But yeah, look, it's all flooded. Let's go down and really look at it. It's a cool little uh, stairway going down. And just like, look at the sides here. It's like you're in this little canyon or canal. All right, see what these guys are doing. The beach is closed. Yeah, this was all beach. Like maybe a month ago, this was all beach here. Like going way out, probably a hundred feet. And now look, it's kind of like, I guess there still is a beach here. And uh, these are, or that's a cool, or there's condom and cabbages right there. See those people up on the deck? That whole beach area there is condom and cabbages and there's a resort back there. The restaurant is there and then there's different levels going up where you can sit and eat. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. They tore a lot of... There used to be a big bar right here that was really awesome. Like a month ago, they tore all this and like closed all this down. It's crazy. It's just like right on the water, you know? And then there's uh, the Asia Pattaya Hotel and just 
tons of people out here fishing and enjoying enjoying this um all right let's head back up but yeah interesting it's also about six o'clock. I don't know how much light we got left and it looks like it was gonna start raining. So the video stopped short. Sorry, it started raining or maybe it gets too dark. But uh, yeah, what else did I wanna talk about? I wanna talk about, man, I've been in Pattaya four years now. I haven't left the country. I mean, I did a couple border hops to Cambodia, but that's not really leaving the country. But I've been here four years now, man. It's pretty crazy. Like, I mean, I came over here on the uh, special tourist visa and that was nine months and it was during COVID. And I was like, oh, I'll just go take a vacation to Thailand and kind of wait out COVID. And it was great. And then when the nine months was over, I was like, man, I like it here. The visa was easy because they were doing like free extensions for the COVID extension. So I just kept staying and staying and here it is four years later. I'm still here just trying to figure out my next move. But what's crazy is uh, the whole world like moves on, you know, like I've been over here four years and Everybody in America, you know, they've got their own lives. They're doing their own thing. You just, maybe it's just life. I mean, you do lose track of people or, but it is, it's like, we, I'm on another continent, literally on the other side of the world, you know? So it like, naturally you just detach from everything American and, I don't know, after a while, it kind of like mentally starts getting to you that you abandon your family or your friends or you kind of ran away to a different country and stuff I've been thinking about a lot lately. But here's uh, condoms and cabbages. I walked past it the first time without even going back in, but back in there and then over is a huge resort and it's an all jungle area. They have like jungle trails. They have kind of like a mini zoo with like rabbits and birds. And it's kind of a cool experience just walking to the beach or like walking through like a jungle trail. So um, it's kind of a cool experience just to go down there. But yeah, like I was saying, four years here and uh, I haven't, I've had several projects. I'm working hard on like AI stuff now. And I've worked, uh, created a couple faceless content channels that have got 25,000 followers now. And I'm kind of exploring options with AI. And so that's kind of what I've been doing in my free time. But at the end of the day, I've still been here four years. And uh, I guess reality is kind of starting to climb back in the window where... Uh, I got to go back to work or figure out some type of income or figure out my next move. I really want to stay here. I love it in Thailand and I probably will end up living here, but you can't just like cut off all your ties to America. And I, I didn't intentionally do that, but just like I'm saying, you're like, you're over here for years. Like right now I'm having problems with, uh, look at that guy. He's got like a tricked out Honda Wave uh, motorbike. But yeah, like right now I'm having trouble with my like bank card, like my ATM cards are expiring and that's kind of how I'm transferring money around uh, is through ATM cards. And I have a uh, free, or Charles Schwab, if you ever do international traveling, Charles Schwab refunds you ATM fees anywhere in the world. So, like, if I go to the ATM here and pull out $500, it's about a $6 ATM fee. There's, like, a $2 fee and then, like, international charges and all that crap you get into. It's about $6, which is a lot of money for an ATM withdrawal, you know. But Charles Schwab refunds that 100%. So, it's a great way to, like, move money internationally. I pay, like, nothing. I get the current exchange rate. 
it's like better than going to the bank and doing it really because then you're going to get caught with like wire fees and you're going to get a lot of charges so this atm method has been a really good way to like transfer the money over here but anyways my atm card's expiring i've been over here four years you know and they got to see ids and my driver's license in america's expired i got sh shit that i just got to handle in america so i got to go back and just handle a lot of a lot of paperwork and just figure a way to do this if i want to live in thailand forever or, you know figure a way to where i can do it without completely isolating myself in thailand which i don't know i think it, it's doable there's a lot of people over here that do that but i don't know how many people like actually live here like full time and never go back to uh their country you know i think everybody's got to go back to their country every couple years just to handle stuff so i guess that's where i'm at now i've just been over here so long that uh, i gotta figure something out it's caused kind of a lot of stress for me too just not wanting to leave here and not you know at this point i'm trying to find a remote job um and if i find a remote job i'll be able to work here there's all types of new visas that just opened up you can get uh this destination thailand visa which is good for five years and it's only like 300 dollars, which is pretty much unheard of um it's super cheap like the the thailand elite visa which was the next which was the one previous to that was like fifteen thousand dollars for five years and now this one's only three hundred dollars for five years so it's just like a no-brainer so once i get on that visa it'll be a lot easier to come and go you, you have multi-entry with that visa and uh yeah it's nice so once you get the visa figured out and then if i can get some type of remote work or even seasonal work i was doing uh seasonal work in denali alaska where you can go up there for five months and make about twenty five thirty thousand dollars and then i could come here and lit you know basically a vacation for the next six seven months so that's like and i have that job like 100 percent secured if i want it but i'd rather just live here full time like get a remote job not have to worry about any of that maybe go back to america every three or four years so yeah all right now we're walking up to uh second road it's not tech i forget the name of this road it's not technically second road but i call it second road and then i might turn around or i wonder if i should turn around now it's starting to get kind of dark I'll walk a little further up here. But yeah, look, there's all types of uh, nice restaurants and massage shops. And even here, there's all types of nice condos. It's a nice area. I like, I like Pratham Neck a lot. You're still close to all the action in Pattaya. You're close to all the beaches. But at the same time, you're like... It's kind of a smaller, not as touristy, not as crowded, a little quieter. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice little city to, to, to chill at. And we are still on Soy 4. Like I said, it's not the main strip. Soy 4 isn't the main strip, but there's still a lot of shit here. Like, there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of massage places, a couple bars. Or I know what I'll do. We'll go, we'll take a right up here. We'll do like a circle around. I'll show you this market.
Got a lot of traffic here. I'm kind of making sure I'm not getting hit by cars. But, uh, yeah, back to, like, living here for four years. You kind of, like, after you've been here a month or two, you realize, like, there's a lot of foreigners here. This city is completely set up for expats. It's real easy to come here and, and not necessarily, like, lose yourself. But everything's so convenient and set up for foreigners and, and the cost of living. It's real easy just to, like, uh, lose yourself here, you know? It's just, like, too good to be true. It's like my rent's cheap, food's cheap. There's girls everywhere. There's party everywhere. You know, just the layout of the city is really nice. It's not too crowded. It's not It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, it's just super convenient. Once, once you come over for a vacation, you're like, oh, man, I want to live here. Like, every, like, the culture is so great. Everybody's smiling. It's just like... And then you come for a month or a couple weeks, and you're like, man, you go back home, and it just kind of hits you. You go back again, and then you just realize, like, man, it's not really that hard to, like, live over here. And there's, like, thousands of foreigners that are doing that, too. So, I don't know. It's a good place to just relax and... Uh, meet new people and if you have some type of remote job that's like best really so that's kind of my number one priority now is finding a decent remote job it doesn't even have to pay that much man if I could be making 30 grand a year remote that's like upper middle class here uh, so yeah We got some stores, some markets here. Here's the main market we come to. It's like a block away. I mean, my condo is just right down the road. Um, but here's like a little kind of a Thai style market where you can get, geez, they got like a hardware, hardware store here. All types of housing supplies, toys containers, clothes, bags, they, they got everything. And then, uh, yeah, and all this stuff is super cheap. Super cheap going in there. You get some underwear for a dollar, two dollars. And we got kind of spoiled when I was out on Soy Siam. Uh, the uh, the market there is so good and this is like our only Thai market I'll walk through here real quick but it's kind of small they don't have everything it's better than nothing but the Siam market is just insanely good this one's kind of hit or miss too some days it's really good other days it's not good but looks alright today there's like some stuff lots of fresh food little side market over here and it goes over there all right let's walk out of here and this is uh, soy 5 now and like I said soy 5 is kind of like the main the main strip you can see here's a high five gentleman's club or lady bar maybe a go-go i don't know i've never been in there you got a nice little restaurant on this side and then uh yeah let's walk down do basically do a loop back to my condo and look at here's a little like kind of uh uh, I call them like cartel style houses like it's a drug cartel because they all have like gated doors and they're basically villas but you're like inside like a walled area but this whole this whole stretch along this edge there's like five or six really nice houses 
This one's kind of run. Man, I wonder if that one's for sale. Looks like nobody's there. Be nice to grab one of these. But look at this. This is, you know, pretty nice. And still, like, look, this is Soy 5, the main strip, and there's like a jungle lot right here. So some big developer is probably going to buy this huge jungle lot and put a 50-story sky-rise condo there. I bet you in like 10 years there'll be a condo there for sure. And this has just gone up in the last week or two. I don't even recognize this. Uh... They just added these gas pumps here. This wasn't here before, so that's good. I had to go kind of a ways to get gas. But look at this, this big crane right here behind there. They're building another condo or something here, just like in the last three weeks. Just completely overbuilt, just building shit everywhere all the time. The city is just completely like overbuilt 100%. Now look at this. Yeah, they're building this condo, big crane going up. Actually, it's working right now. Look, it's going up. What's he moving? I don't even see, but yeah. Look, the back end, they're building something. This is like a, a kind of like a, it's supposedly the, there's two uh, Pratamnak night markets. That's one of them. And the bigger one's on Soy 6 in Pratamnak. There's a huge night market over there. Uh, this one, this is technically a night market, but there, there's nobody ever there, and there's not many shops. One of the next videos, I go to the the, the night market on Soy Six. It's big. There's probably a couple hundred vendors there, lots of nice restaurants, uh, oh, lots of good stuff going on there. Okay, so this is what this is going to be. The Riviere Malibu. It's going to be this big-ass condo they're building here. Crazy, right? It's just condos everywhere here. And, like, look at right next to it. It's condos, condos. Yeah, building it right now. Malibu Riviera. And yep, uh, Soy 5 heads down this way, and then this way actually goes down to the Royal. There's like a Royal compound. It's like the King's Villa. It's like a huge, a huge property with walls and probably 10 or 15 buildings and villas and it looked nobody's there it's just they have a skeleton crew of like security guards and maintenance people that like watch it but it's an amazing uh, setup and I have a view from that from my balcony too like right down this road it's you'll see like you, you'll get down there and there'll be a sign that says royal royal property or royal villa or it says something like that and we got a cool little art gallery right here gallery 228 pretty classy and then yeah soy five is right down there there's a big condo in the last video i was kind of talking about and then just tons of other condos john tian hills resort condominium that looks yeah there's clothes and stuff out but that looks kind of like run down or needs some work but now there's cars and laundry and I don't know if you guys remember this. I walked, I talked to it in the last video, just walking through here. They're making this like shops or something. They've been hustling on this. It seems like they kind of slowed up a little bit. But in about a two week period, they did a ton of work on this one. All right, now we're walking back to my condo. Oh, they put those doors on. That's new. All right. 
Let me flip it back around. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm back on the home stretch. About to get to my condo. I'm hot. I will catch you on the next one.